Today I wanted to share, um, why do I always say today? My gift cat, say that again. There's a piece of dust floating around. I am distracted today. What was I saying? What am I trying to say? Hey guys, what's up? It's Meredith. Welcome back to my channel. I have been wanting to film this video for you guys for quite some time now. And to be honest, it has just... <laughs> Any time that I've had a time to myself or a time that I could film this video, it has not been my priority. I have been in a little bit of a... I don't want to say a funk. It's the wrong word. I've just had like a change of mindset this holiday season. My kids are getting older. Um, my son is in school now and I think I'm starting to get this like realization that I don't know how many Christmases that I have left with my kids that like they still believe in Santa and I know as soon as he finds out like his sister is gonna know and anyway so I've been really trying to focus on being more present. I have not had the motivation to stare at a screen and edit and all those things. Like I have enjoyed just kind of chilling, reading a book at night, um, hanging out with the kids and doing things with them um, to where like filming and editing has just kind of fallen to the wayside. And I apologize for that, but you guys have always just been so supportive. Um, so I know you guys will understand, but here I am today. I am have the motivation today to get this video filmed for you guys. So today I wanted to share my holiday gift guide for the runner in your life, or maybe you're interested in starting to run yourself and you're needing to add some things to your wish list this holiday season, or maybe you get some gift cards and you like, are trying to figure out what you want to spend that money on because like hashtag first world probs. So today here is my holiday gift guide for the runner in your life this Christmas. Let's start with the stocking stuffer type things. I've got like all my stuff over here. But one thing that I don't have over here, and that would be a great stocking stuffer for the runner or athlete in your life, is their favorite snacks or energy bars or um, there's so many different things like the energy like gels or gummies or whatever it is that they prefer. I know if you just go into like REI or any sort of like running store, um, I feel like we typically do REI for this kind of thing, but they have so many options. Anyways, snacks, always a good idea. Next thing, you know I'm gonna say it because I have to. You guys know my history with melanoma, skin cancer. Another great thing that runners need is sunscreen, whatever. Um, this is, I mean, I've literally had this for forever. It's not necessarily the best sunscreen, but maybe something small that they can keep in their car, keep with them at all times. So if they forget to apply sunscreen before they leave the house, or maybe they don't know they're gonna be going for a run and then they realize, oh shoot, I forgot to put on sunscreen. Oh wait, I've got some in my car. Whatever, always a good stocking stuffer. Also any sort of like lip balm or chapstick that has SPF. That's always a good idea also. Next. Something that I didn't try until this past year and especially in the summertime, the stuff is the bomb when you're sweaty and disgusting and gross, but Body Glide, I know it says for her, but I feel like guys, it's just as good for you. Maybe they have body glide for him. I don't know. What's the difference? But it's just an anti-chafe and moisturizing balm. But if you guys have issues with chafing while running, 
This is awesome. And I swear if you're buying this for someone else for the holidays to put in their stocking or whatever, any runner could stand to use this. Trust me. So this is something for really for anyone. If you're going to be running, especially on your own, safety is so, 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 so important. This just always makes me feel so much safer to have on me. Like you have to be prepared. Don't let fear run your life, but like you got to stay safe out there. Okay. So my next little thing, stocking stuffer for the runner this Christmas is pepper spray. Got to have it, put it in your pack, do what you got to do. This one has like a little key ring on it. Keep it on your keys, put it in your running belt, keep it on you. Pepper spray. I know mine's pink, but like guys, you can, you could use your pepper spray too. Okay. But ladies, especially keep your pepper spray on you, especially if you're running alone. Yeah, you get it. Let's move on to apparel. Buying clothes for anyone can be difficult. You have to figure out their size. It's just like super complicated. Um, but this is something that you could get for anyone. You don't need to know like their freaking waist size to buy this for them. So number one is socks. You gotta have some good running socks. There's some really good ones out there. Everybody has their preference with socks. I'm not as particular, but Smart Wool's a good one. Darn Tough, I like their socks. Swift Wick, those are all really good brands, especially for the trails. Um, I really, really love their socks. Moving on. Some cold weather gear. I have two different like ear warmer headband type things that I use. One is a little bit more lightweight when it's just kind of like windy and you don't, you kind of want to block the wind from your ears, but it's not like freezing outside. I really love this. This is, I think I got this at REI also, but it's just the buff brand as you can see. Um, but comes in handy. And what's nice about it is like, you can kind of like wad it up and use it as just like a normal headband if you end up not needing something over your ears as you warm up. This one I literally got at Target like two years ago, um, but this is more of my like cold weather. It's like got the fleecy uh, material inside. But yeah, this was literally like 15, 20 bucks at Target a couple years ago. Um, it's the All In Motion brand. But again, there are so many different options out there and it's a one size fits all kind of thing um, that any runner could stand to have. And even if they have one, I guarantee you they would want to have more. So the runner that has to wake up so early that it's still dark outside or um, maybe they run trails and they end up staying out later than they plan to. Gotta have a good headlamp. Um, this one is Black Diamond. That's the one that I typically use. Another thing that I don't have, but maybe I should add this to my wish list, something that I could stand to have when I've gone running at night um, or super early in the morning is a vest. Um, they make these like light up vest type things. Um, that would be super nice for when I'm running in the dark. I will link it in the description box below because I definitely, I don't have one, but I could use one. I think that's all my like stocking stuffer type stuff. I'm sure I've missed some stuff. If you have any other ideas for stocking stuffers for the runner in your life, put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your suggestions. These are more of the bigger ticket items. We'll go kind of build up to like the bigger, more expensive things as we go. I guess this could technically also be a stocking stuffer, but it's a little bit bigger of a thing. This is what I've used for the past two years. Um, it's my running belt. You can stick your phone in there. It's super stretchy. So like any phone or whatever can fit in there. 
Um, these do like come in different sizes. Like this is a size extra small, I think. Um, so it's like extra small, small, medium, large, whatever. So you do kind of have to have a general idea of sizes, but like I said, it's kind of stretchy. So it has like a little clip thing on the inside and that's what I always like clip my key ch like keys to and then you can just like clip your keys on and then I stuff them back in there so yeah a running belt is really awesome another thing that I've had for past couple years and it has been awesome but it's also been through the ringer is a running water bottle so basically this is the um this is a Nathan brand sorry it's probably kind of gross and faded and whatever but like I said it has uh been well loved and um, I've used it a lot so running water bottle it has a little pocket sometimes I keep what do I have in here right now <laughs> like just tissues that's gross I've kept different things sometimes I'll stick my keys in here um, I have some like Bluetooth headphones that I like to run with but there have been times where like my headphones have died and I hate running without listening to some sort of music or podcast so I'll have like my backup headphones in there just like my earbuds that like connect to my phone but yeah it's pretty awesome because it won't spill so you have to like set your water bottle down it's not gonna like be spilling all over the ground but with that being said I have let my kids drink from this and they have just like gnawed through the like I don't know like silicone or whatever this is um rubbery material um, so now it does leak. So yeah, but if you don't let your like three-year-old chew it to shreds, it's really awesome. And you can just like kind of hold on to it. Like you don't have to be like holding it physically it, the whole time. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I've loved this water bottle. The water bottle and the flip belt have worked really, really well the last couple years. But because my water bottle is falling apart and has gone through the ringer, um, and since I have noticed, like I've had moments, especially in the summertime when I've been out on the trails and I'll wanna go a little bit farther, be out there a little bit longer, and my water bottle that I have just isn't enough hydration, um, I have really, been wanting a running vest or like a hydration vest. Um, so that's what I asked for for Christmas this year. With that being said, there are some that are just like so expensive. So I've had a hard time like asking for something that expensive. So I will link in the description box below um, the one that I found on Amazon. Um, it is inexpensive but it has some of the same features that some of the more expensive brands have. Also, I will just say my husband is a boss and he ended up finding one of the bigger name brands. Um, I think, I, I wanna say he found it like on REI's website, but for whatever reason, the extra small um, one day was on sale for like 40 bucks when they're normally over a hundred bucks. Let me just show you because he gave it to me early this year because um, he wanted me to be able to use it um, if I wanted it. So um, he also wanted to make sure that I didn't like want the one on Amazon that I had asked for over this one um, before he ordered it for me. So let me show you what he got me and I've already used it and I love it so I can give you my review on this. So hold on. So this is the one that he got me. It's the... Uh, it's the Solomon brand, but it's really freaking awesome. <laughs> um, I've only used it a couple times now, but it's got the reflectors. It's got like a little safety whistle on it, which is really awesome. Um, it's got two um, soft shell like water bottles. And then it also has a pocket in the back that if you, for whatever reason, need more hydration, again, especially in the summertime, you can put like a bladder, um, which we have in one of our other like bigger packs, um, but you can put like a bladder back there too. Like I said, big pocket in the back, so you can use that for whatever. 
Um, it's got, here, I'm just gonna put this on for you. Show you how awesome it is. So you basically clip these little guys across and it's fully like adjustable. I just kind of took the little like drawstring away so it's not like flying around. But yeah, so it fits kind of like this. You can tighten it however you need to. This is the extra small. Um, I'm typically an extra small in anything. I'm just petite. I'm five feet tall. I'm like 110-ish pounds. I'm petite. It's got a little zip up pocket here. And like, so you can throw like, I've been keeping like my inhaler and my keys in this pocket. Um, here, let me just demonstrate real quick. My keys got my inhaler so I'll throw those in there and gosh there's so much room in these pockets I could put the pepper spray in there if I want I want to make sure that one's like easily accessible so whatever and then here I've been like sticking my phone I'm using my phone to record so I can't really show you but yeah my phone like fits super easily and they're like deep pockets they go like all the way back here so like I'll put my phone in there. Um, even where it has the pocket with a zip up pocket here, it also has like a pocket you can like slide stuff into here. So maybe that would be a better spot for like the pepper spray so I can like easily grab it and not have to like unzip stuff, even though, I mean, that's pretty accessible. But anyways, um, yeah, so I am so freaking excited. I can't believe he found this for 40 bucks, but like I said, it's normally over a hundred, uh, but I will link this one as well as the one I found on Amazon in the description box below. Um, so you have that variety of price ranges. Three more things on the list. One is a good pair of running sunglasses. These are the blenders I wear and I will link this style in the description box below because I honestly don't remember what the style is but I can tell you but they're pretty cute I've had them since like the summer um, these like reflective lenses are awesome but they do get scratched up easily um, but yeah, so these I want to say were close to like 50 bucks. Also the Gooder brand, I'll link that in the description box as well. Um, people swear by those too. Um, that'll probably be my next per purchase, um, to have as like my backup sunglasses. These are blenders I wear, the Gooder, that's G-O-O-D-R. They're also a really good option and I want to say they're closer to like the $30 price range. So super inexpensive. They stay on your nose. They don't slip down your nose while you're running. So highly recommend. I've used both of those brands and they're both awesome. Something that I got for Christmas last year from Nick. These are the Beats wireless headphones and I have loved them. I've used other like wireless headphones in the past. I can't remember what the brand was that I used before these. Um, they were not as like expensive of a brand, but you kind of get what you pay for, I think. But what's so awesome about these, like obviously they're good quality, they're Beats, but I love that when they're in the case that they're charging. This is right now, not plugged into anything, is charging my headphones. So what I typically do is I'll keep this in my car. If I go for a trail run, my case can be charging in the car while I'm running with my headphones. And then when I get back to my car and I need to plug in my phone or whatever, so I'll take the charger out of this and put the headphones in. Then even though this isn't plugged in anymore, it's still charging my headphones. So, um, I have absolutely loved it. I have not had issues. It also like it keeps a charge for so long and it also charges very quickly. Um, I've been really, really happy. I have not had any issues with like my uh, with my headphones dying on me or whatever. Um, yeah, highly recommend. We'll link these in the description, in the description box below as well. Last gift idea for the runner in your life this holiday season. I have shared this on my channel, um, in one of my last videos, um, but it's a company that I've been working with, the Opove 
massage guns, but I've used other massage guns and this one really has been my favorite that I've used and it's, you gotta have a massage gun for any runner, athlete, gosh, I did not know what I was missing until I got a massage gun, but this one has been super, super awesome. For those that know, um, through my cancer journey recently, I've had uh, <laughs> moments where I have not, I've had to take breaks from running, and I've recently like gotten back into a groove with my running and exercising and um, weight training, and I have just been so sore. This is the Opove M3 Pro 2 massage gun. So highly recommend. We'll link that below. With the link below, you will also get a discount. So please use my link to check it out. Everything that I've mentioned in this video today, I will link in the description box. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it is useful. I hope that maybe it gives you some good ideas for, for gifts or maybe for yourself this holiday season. I also just want to say that I really wish you and your family a very, very Merry Christmas. And I hope you use this time to spend quality time and to be present with your family and friends and loved ones. And um, that's something that I've really been focusing on um, this season. So I hope you will do the same. And um, I just really, really, really appreciate your love and support. I know I have not been as present on here as I typically am, um, but I, I never worry that you guys are going to judge me or be resentful that I'm not posting as much. Like you guys are always supportive and I know you guys would understand why I've taken this time to just be more present with my family and not spend as much time focusing on my YouTube. But with all that being said, I'm still here. <laughs> Don't forget about me. I will continue to post as often as I feel led. Um, and I just really, I've said this so many times, but I just love and appreciate the community that um, has developed here on YouTube. It just means the world to me. So um, with all that being said, I'm going to end this video here. I will see you guys in the next one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you never miss when I post a new video. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.